Hey, uh, this is, I'm going to try and do this. Hey, Dennis. I uh, hope everything's going good for you over there. I'm going to try and uh, uh, show you off my plans what I did. Uh, so here we go. So this is the forward uh, wing skins. And what I did was I laid out the entire sheet. And then if you see here on the plans, uh, it shows that there's a line here at uh, wing station 131 and 1130 seconds which is actually 112 and 5 sixteenths from this one here wing station 19 and 1 16th of an inch so what I did was look over here and you see A and B which is this small space and down here is table A and B so what I did was I looked down here and see where I am on B and also look up here at C and D and look at D and find the longest length that I have on D it's 1 and 15 64 and on B it's 1 and 15 64 so since this piece sticks out furthest out here I, I assume that that's the 15, I mean, I'm sorry, 1 inch and 15 sixty-fourths. So what I do is I, I came in about 2 inches from the edge of my sheet on the aluminum. This edge down here uh, I kept as a factory edge. So I came in 2 inches and I drew this wing station line up my sheet. This side is also square, so I was able to uh, measure from the edge of the sheet to the top of the line here, to where the line is two inches in, and where it's two inches in down here, and that gave me this reference line. Then what I do is you have to go over here and just kind of figure out what it's saying. You know, uh, it's every basically every two inches, and there's a uh, distance zero. So. What I did was I noticed that, that the 1 and 15 64 was the furthest out, so that's here. So then for me, 0 would be here. And then I would just mark on my sheet along that reference line, I would mark every 2 inches to 14 inches. Then what I would do is I would go and I'd, I'd mark all those off with my highlighter. Then I go over and I start at zero, which is here, and I measure in 13 30 seconds and make a dot. And then I come down to two inches and measure square across again and make a dot at 17 30 seconds. And then I come down here to four inches down, and that would be five eighths of an inch in uh, out from the line. I'm sorry, all these are out from that reference line. Sorry, my mistake. So you go off the reference line and just kind of visualize the numbers as they go out. The first time I did it, I drew it out on a piece of paper just to kind of get an idea of how things were going. So what they do is they, they give you clues to where your starting reference line is or, or how to get a reference line. And on this, on this one, on the forward wing skin, it's this line here. And then everything measures off of that. If you see here, it'll measure all the way across to this reference line and then it'll show that everything does the same and you just measure in and you just kind of have to go and look at F is the distance from the line in and E is the distance from wherever the starting reference is to the ending reference and in this case on this one the closest is at two inches so you would come up here two inches, go up and then measure in what this distance is, and so on and so forth all the way up. And then you have to do the same thing here and take a look at it and see this is the furthest distance away up here, which is the furthest distance away here. So zero is going to start here and work its way down. So that's how it went on the forward wing skins. Let me show you what I did with the aft wing, wing skins. It's kind of the same thing. 
you just look at, at, the, at the lines here and the drawings and find these lines that show the distance see if I can get it out wide enough here that will show the distance all the way across from one reference line to the other reference line and you kinda go about it the same way now what I did since there's two different pieces here a top and a bottom aft wing skin I went and highlighted in orange and kinda drew down that this table goes to this one this table goes to this one and I did the same thing over here this table goes to the top drawing and this table goes to the bottom drawing and I make these notes and highlight them in a different color so that I know that the holes are in a different place than just the normal uh, spacing that's called out and you basically do the same thing with with these these grids and here you'll notice though there's inboard and outboard so when you look at the skin it'll show inboard and outboard so when you're measuring along H this this reference line of H right here you'll take the measurement and you'll either go inboard or outboard and you do the same thing you just kinda look at the measurements and look at where the um, where the furthest distance is and this in this case it's outboard so that would mean that that's for up here and then the closest distance which is inboard uh, on the two inch mark which is right over here from this line inboard on the on that mark 564 inboard so that kind of gives you an idea there's a little bit of interpretation with it so um, the best thing to do, uh, you know, is uh, you can draw this up in, on a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be full size, but it can give you kind of an idea uh, as to how things are. And you can kind of change the measurements, you know, on your piece of paper. Just kind of scale it down a little bit if that helps. Well, I hope this helped a little bit. Uh, I'll try and email this off to you.